The seven habits making you poor in wholesaling real estate. If you're just trying to get ahead in the wholesaling industry and you just feel like you're staying poor and you're not getting any good results, you probably have these seven terrible habits you need to quit right now. These habits are making you poor and actually destroying your success. I've taught hundreds of thousands of people actually how to get rich in this business, how to make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year and actually have success. And the sad part is a lot of these people need to delete these seven habits out of their head so they can actually get wholesaling results. So let's break these down. Number one, not having a why. I have so many wholesalers that they just feel like they don't have the motivation or they don't want to do the hard work and they feel like there's all this competition and wholesaling is so difficult and oh, it's such a struggle. And the honest truth is it really bothers them. And the reason why this bothers them is because their why is not strong enough. Here's a great quote I know about the why, but it's your why needs to make you cry. Let me repeat it one more time. Your why needs to make you cry. Your reason for getting into real estate wholesaling, your reason for actually obtaining obtaining this dream, your reason for going out here and trying to live the life of your dreams. It has to make you cry and bring you to tears. This is a motivating thing that has to push you past the point where most people would quit. Wholesaling real estate is not the easiest thing in the world. And most people will be brought to their knees even trying to do this. But you're a rare, exceptional individual who wants to make that change, who's willing to go out here and put the work and change their life. This business can push you down hard, but can also give you the riches of your dreams. And the coolest part is really anybody that actually wants to work hard, take action, and is willing to become disciplined, they can easily attain six figures and eventually scale up to six figures a month, making millions of dollars just like me. But the only thing that's going to be your fuel to get to that point is your why. Think about it. If you're driving from New York to LA and you only have five gallons in the tank, you might get to San Bernardino and then you're going to be out of gas because you don't have enough fuel to bring you during the journey. The fuel that you had in to get that Lamborghini, that's only going to get you to Colorado. When the going gets tough, you hit the desert, the fuel is just not going to be enough. You need that fuel. My fuel starting out was not wanting to work a nine to five job anymore. Not wanting to be a fat manager at a grocery store who eats junk food all day that doesn't have the time to work out, who works 60, 70 hours a week and couldn't live the life of their dreams. I decided to never do that. I decided I want to live a life that I knew that was worth it for me and a life that my family deserved. The reason why I push myself so hard is because I know for my future kids and future family, I'm doing everything I possibly can to set up them and my family's legacy forever through buying rentals and buying assets with the power of wholesaling real estate for income to change my family's financial destiny forever. Number two, you need to have a goal. Cannot stress this enough. If you do not have an end goal in mind, how are you going to make this destination? Now, I know it's about the journey, not the destination, but if you don't know where you want to be at, you're going to be driving all over the place. If you go for a drive trying to get to Montana, but you don't know if Montana is south or north of you right now or east or west, how are you going to get to that point? You're going to need a goal. And once you have a goal, a destination, you can then create a Google Maps or a map quest to where you need to be. A lot of wholesalers get stuck because they don't have that goal. Do I want to make 10 grand a month? Do I want to make 100 grand a month? Do I just want to get my first deal? What is your goal? Because your actions are going to have to equal what you want in the goal for it to actually happen. Number three, and this is probably the one most wholesalers need to understand the mostly, waking up and not knowing what you're going to do. I know that seems really stupid, simple, but it's true. If you wake up every single morning and you don't know what you need to do for wholesaling real estate, you're not going to get any deals. You're not going to become successful and really life's just going to pass you by when it comes to being a successful entrepreneur. You have to have the day already planned out. You have to know when you when your feet hit the ground in the morning, at, right out of bed, how many calls do I have to make? Who do I have to make calls to? What list do I need to pull? What list do I need to find? Who do I need to skip trace? How many cash buyers do I have to talk to? How many drawing for dollars leads I need to do? You need to know this stuff now. If you don't know it and you don't have a plan, you're going to plan to fail. You have to create a plan of attack. And so this is what three is all about. Create a plan. Create an action plan to go conquer financial destiny. No great conqueror in the world like Alexander the Great, Napoleon, or, or any of the big warlords ever conquered anything without a plan. They all had plans and they all executed them for success. That's why they're considered greats or they're known in history. You are creating financial destiny. You're, you're going to conquest your financial freedom and you need to make a plan. Number four here, analysis paralysis. This is a rough one for a lot of people. You're overthinking things. You're like, oh my gosh, what should I do? Oh my goodness, I go to frilson.com. I subscribe to the channel. There's just so much information. This is all so confusing. Ah, what do I do, right? And I get it. It's a lot. 
freehostling.com, my YouTube channel, all this wholesaling content being thrown at you, probably an ad before you saw this video, and you're really overcomplicating what to do. This is an issue of just not keeping it simple. I tell most wholesalers, and this is something you should probably take a note on, but just focus on one to two lists at a time and one to two marketing channels at a time. That is it, keep it simple. The simpler you make in the beginning, get your first deal or not, and then just keeping what's going on and what's working, that will actually help you out the most. You sitting on your butt all day, overthinking things and being like, I'm gonna cold call and then I'm going to text and then I'm gonna do this list and this, you're gonna be all over the board. You have to master one to two marketing channels and one to two lists starting out and then expand from there. If you do all these crazy things, you're just gonna be spread way too thin. Focus on things that are at work, that are fundamental and that are great. I'll recommend something like some, maybe a government list or two, focus on drying for dollars and reverse drying for dollars and just cold call. Make it simple. Many people overcomplicate the scripts and how to talk to sellers and all these things. And at freehostling.com, that's why I have it very simply set up where you go through each section of the wholesaling industry and then that's it. Number five here, this is a big one, but this is the fear of the phones. If you think about picking up a phone and talking to a seller or picking up the phone and cold calling or doing a follow up or talking to a cash buyer and you have this gut wrenching fear in yourself and you're like, oh my gosh, what do I do? First of all, you're not alone. Don't feel like you're a loser or anything. Trust me, I've had it. We've all had it before. But this habit of having a fear of the phones is going to stop you from making so much money in wholesaling. You should have the opposite. You should be excited to get on the phones, excited for an opportunity to talk to a seller, excited for an opportunity to make 20, 30 grand today. The excitement of going out here and chasing your dreams, the phone should be exciting. And if the phones scare you, there's only really one reason. You just haven't had enough phone calls. That's it. The best analogy I can give to you is people that are scared to go on airplanes. There are people that are deathly scared to go on an airplane and when they have to once a year or every other year, they flip out and it's the scariest, most anxiety driven thing ever. I promise you, this seems scary, but if you brought that person who's deathly scared of flying on airplanes and you make them fly four flights a day for four years straight, I promise you they will be less scared to go on the next plane ride than when their first plane ride ever was. This is because the overthinking, the anxiety, being so scared, comes from a lack of not knowing the outcome, a lack of experience and a lack of understanding what's most likely going to happen. And when you understand, when you talk to a seller, yes, they might curse you out. That might be mean, but that's okay because there's always other ones to go after. You're not going to win every single deal. Just like in basketball, you're not going to make every single shot, but does that make you a loser or terrible or scared to go take any more shots in basketball? No, of course not. It's the drive to try to be your best you possibly can be and make as many shots as possible. Number six here, a lack of confidence. I cannot stress this enough. So many wholesalers have a lack of confidence when it comes to talking to sellers, getting on the phones, or even just starting this journey. And trust me, we've all been there. But like I've said before with the fear of the phones, you just have to do it. You're probably scared to talk to a seller because you don't believe in yourself or you don't believe in the words you're saying. The best definition of confidence I can give to you is the belief in the words you say and the actions you do. If you truly don't believe in your abilities to go drive a car and not crash it instantly, you're gonna be a nervous wreck that's not confident to drive. But if I've driven thousands and thousands and thousands of times and I'm very confident in my abilities, I'm not gonna be really nervous and I'm gonna have a ton of confidence to go drive to the grocery store. The truth is in wholesaling real estate, of course you're gonna be nervous the first time. Of course you're gonna be nervous the second or third or fourth time, but that doesn't matter because you need to believe in what you say. You have to overcome a little bit of that fear. And that's the point of becoming an entrepreneur, a man or a woman out here that takes life by the reins. You're gonna overcome that fear and become a better person at the other end of it. And that is what you need to understand. You're doing everything your power to become a better wholesaler, a better entrepreneur, a better mom, dad, son, daughter, whatever it is. You're taking the reins in your financial success right now by wholesaling houses. Guys, I can tell you, my fear of being broke was way worse than my fear of going on the phones or talking to sellers. My confidence, of course, wasn't perfect, but I was so fearful of being broke the rest of my life. I had no care in the world if I didn't succeed at this or not, because I knew I was going to do everything in my power to become the best wholesaler possible. And it's me to make millions of dollars right now. Now, so it's working pretty well. Number seven here, last but not least, but this is a lack of volume. I see a lot of wholesalers, they have the confidence, they have the knowledge, they don't overthink things, they make plans, they got their why and everything's all together. But the last piece of the puzzle here is a lack of volume. A lot of wholesalers will go out here and be like, I'm not getting deals, bro, what's going on? And I'm like, well, show me your volume. Show me the amount of marketing output you're doing. You know, I talked to seven sellers this week and I didn't get a deal. How many offers you make? Zero. How many cold calls? I made 10 cold calls this week and you feel 
feel like you're balling out and you're doing everything possible. Guys, you should be doing like 40 cold calls an hour. You got to pump your numbers up. This is a little known fact that most wholesalers on YouTube don't want to tell you, but you got to talk to thousands and thousands of people to get one wholesaling deal. I know that's a big con, but the big pro is you make tens of thousands of dollars by just talking to those thousands of people. So yeah, it's a lot of work, but you can make tens of thousands of dollars a month and hundreds of thousands of dollars a month if you just pump up the volume. And this is a wake up call for a lot of people. You need to increase your volume. Whatever you think you're doing in marketing, just multiply it by three, triple it right now. And I promise you, you'll see more leads, more results, and more cash in your bank account. And really get a grip on your life, create a plan and start marketing. Marketing is the best thing that's going to lead to your success because the more you market, the more leads you're going to get. And the more leads you get are going to lead to more contracts, more contracts you get, the more assignments that are signed, the more assignments that are signed is more money in your bank account. That's what it's all about. So if you want to start getting money right now, start marketing more, go to freewholesaling.com, my free wholesaling course, right? Break down the entire wholesaling process from start to finish absolutely for free. And remember, if you got any value from this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. This is Zach in signing out. Have a blessed one.